Hello everyone and welcome back to Horse Haven and we are having a very special bonus episode of Horse Haven because I am so excited about this treehouse and I want to upgrade the treehouse as much as possible and share that with you guys. So yes, we are here with another episode of Horse Haven outside of our twice a week weekly schedule because you guys love it so much. You've been so kind and supportive. So of course I want to turn around and try to give you guys as much as I possibly can. So today we are going to do our best not only to breed for the Virgo year one since we already have the Virgo year two but we are going to be upgrading the treehouse marketplace which I have been sitting on I have enough pieces to do it I have enough pieces to do it look how many extra things I've been collecting I have been taking starburn on so many steeplechase races it has been so long since I have just like loaded up a let's play video in the background right now it happens to be simply blisses a wonderful series on the Amazon Sims 3 challenge I've gone back to the very first episode and re-watching it yet again totally awesome but it's been a long time since I have just loaded something up, sat back, and gone on steeplechase races. And I have been enjoying them so much with Starburn because having a diamond level horse, like all three levels diamond, mm, it's wonderful. Wonderful experience. I highly recommend it if you can ever manage to get those fantastic races where we do like the Red Rose Championship Cup, the Yellow Rose Re Championship Cup. Really, really worth it. But all right, enough of that babbling. We are going to be upgrading the treehouse in just a minute here. Of course, we need to do our chores first because I just think that life is more rewarding when you really kind of work for the things that you enjoy. Oh my gosh, look at all those sapphires. Good job, little mini mine. Good job. So we're going to go ahead and take care of those things. And we do have a little foal that we need to fetch out of the breeding house. This is one of the ponies. We already have plenty of the ponies, but this is a little boy. So we'll go ahead and keep him just in case we get a female Arabian that we can try breeding him with. And the reason that we would be breeding him, and let's see, where did he go? There he is. But the reason that we would be breeding him with an Arabian is because it is one of these ponies and the Arabians that when combined can give you the year one Virgo. So I still need to experiment and see if you can actually get the constellation horses if you have the right horse combination out of their month. But I am still firmly in the camp of no, I don't think you can. I think you can breed the year ones and I think you can breed like that current month uh, even if it doesn't show it when you put them in the breeding house and doesn't give you the special symbol over their heart. But I don't think you can breed outside of their constellation month and that makes sense to me because it's kind of like a special event that only happens during that constellation time and if the stars are not aligned in order to have that rare foal be born then it would be kind of weird if you could just have the like you know Aquarius foal born in the Libra month so I, I could understand why it's set up like that it does also make it a limited edition challenge so um what should we do first what should we do first uh let's go ahead and harvest up our, our little cherries. I'm so excited. And we'll check on our mail and our daily quest. And then we're upgrading that treehouse, gosh darn it. And we're going to work on treehouse upgrades today because I am so excited for that. So the mail, need to check out the gift. <gasps> you invited five friends. Claim your reward. Yay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. If I invite even more of you guys onto Horse Haven, then they're going to give me 88 diamonds. Wow. That's pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for hiring me as your stable hand. It always helps out. Oh, and the social breeding rewards. Huzzah. That definitely helps out when you guys do that because that's what gives me the money that I can breed my horses with. Yay. And we can try to get the rare ones. All right. Thank you so much to all of the unknowns, which could be any of you, for coming to visit the village and coming. Oh, thank you, Hannah. Coming to help out on my farm. Let's see. Anything else? I think that's everything. So there's that. And then daily quest. Oh, reach 2,000 meters in the Brazilian steeplechase. Oh, I didn't know that that was even a thing, but apparently I did it. And then we need to sell five granola bars, collect 1,200 coins in a steeplechase. It says Brazil, but I often find that can be any steeplechase and it works. <gasps> Visit 10 friends ranches, breed a horse in the Montana ranch, harvest uh, eight green feeds. So we might be able to pull some of those off today. But all right, are you guys ready for this? I'm so excited. And we're going to upgrade the treehouse. All right, so I want to see what level three is going to be. And oh, we got a little hat. Oh, it's really cute. All right, and here is level three of the treehouse market. What can we get there today? <gasps> what is this? Is this like some sort of special little top hat? Oh my gosh, are those poinsettias? Oh my gosh, what kind of things can you get here? That's a really good price on the diamond salad. Are you kidding me? Of course I'm going to buy that. That's really cool. Oh my gosh, those are really good prices. These are really good prices. 
And then that hat. Okay, I don't know if I've ever seen that top hat before. Let's go see if that top hat is actually like available. So we'll come over and feed Odin here. Maybe if we give him some healthy salad, he'll be able to have that, that, uh, is it the Virgo? <laughs> yeah, have the Virgo full we're breeding for. Why do I keep saying like everything under the sun but Virgo? Who knows? All right, so let's see. Wait, is this limited edition? Is this the limited edition? <gasps> no way! Is that supposed to be the saddle? Like, was the saddle just not available yet? I didn't know that. We're gonna have to look at that. Okay, hang on. We'll look at that in just a minute because I think that's the limited edition saddle for this month. That is the limited edition saddle for this month. Was it just not available before? Because I sure didn't see it before because we got the uh, face mask, but we didn't get the saddle. So we'll have to look into that. <gasps> Here's the little hat. Oh my gosh. There's like a salad hat. Oh, I need that salad hat in my life. Look at that. That's so cute. Poor Odin. He's like, I don't want to have these cute hats. Well, that's okay, Odin. You got to try them on for me. I need to get Kareen. She's currently up in the UK ranch. I don't know how I accidentally put Kareen in the UK ranch, but I did. I meant to send her to the French ranch and she ended up in the UK. I have to have this hat. I didn't know this hat. The salad hat was a thing. It's amazing and I love it. So we're going to have to work on that. And we have the awesome new little hat oh it's so cute odin it's adorable i definitely need that solid hat i want it so badly oh my gosh that's so awesome oh and i was over there for a reason oh i totally forgot so we're there to look for this little top hat and i need to see if that's like limited edition so the top hat at the tree house is being sold for 124 coins so let's pop over and we're gonna look over here and we're gonna see if we can find that top hat inside of the shop. So that would be over here. And then top hat, top hat. Let's see, there's all the little face masks for racing. Okay, maybe it would be, would it be somewhere else? I could have sworn like hats would be here. Are there really no hats available for purchase right now? <gasps> so I guess that would kind of be like a limited edition item then. Okay, yeah, there's tons and tons and tons of saddle pieces you can put on and blankets for the horses for sure. And then there's quite a few of the sock things and yeah, a lot and a lot of them to pick from. Uh-huh. But no top hat thing. Okay, so the top hat thing I think may be limited in time and maybe... Maybe it's just something special. <gasps> so there's going to be so many new things that you can potentially spend your diamonds on. But I want this so much more than the top hat. So I'm actually really excited. I, I Oh, here. Here, have a watermelon. Maybe, the, you know what they say about like eating a watermelon and if you swallow the seed, it grows into a baby. My parents told me that at least when I was growing up to explain where babies came from. And uh, maybe you'll have luck, Odin, with having your little Virgo baby if we give you a watermelon then. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. And buying gemstones? Okay, let's go ahead and see if we're able to upgrade it again. How close am I? <gasps> oh, I thought we were gonna be so much closer. I hauled the bunny hunkers and I really thought we would be closer to being able to level up because I wanna know what like number five is and you can only level this up this month because of these special items. So let's go ahead and invite more people onto Horsehaven. That's a thing. So I can go through my gigantic, gigantic buddy list and you just go down and you just like send the invite out. And I hate to spam people like that, but that's kind of what my account, my Facebook account is for, is for game related stuff. So I'm going to invite tons and tons of people because the party balloons are the hardest thing to get in my humble opinion. They totally are. So whoops, I missed McKenzie there. Sorry about that, McKenzie. Uh, can I invite you, McKinsey? I think it leaves like the one person that you didn't invite. So you can send all these invites. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. It's not personal. <laughs> it's not personal. There we go. And I think that's the max number of invites you can send out. But now we can work on getting more of these little um, Christmas lights, get up to level four. And I guess I'll try to climb my way up to level five before the end of the week so I can show it off to you guys because I really, really, really want to be able to get there. Oh, look at that. We already have one of the little balloons. Sweet. And then we just need a few of these flags and we need a few of the lights. Maybe we'll be able to upgrade to level four today. That's gonna be our goal, you guys, is upgrading to level four and casually on the side of things, being able to, there we go, harvest that up. <gasps> yes, and casually on the side of things, maybe being able to breed up some of the constellation horses we're after. So let's go ahead and try breeding our Frisian. 
and our pony. And I want to change Uncas's name too. I don't know what I want to change it to, but here we have the Virgo year one that we're aiming for. So we'll see if we have any luck with the Virgo year one. We already have a pony at both of the other ranches where we're currently breeding up. And now we have a Frisian, a female. So of course, see, it was worth it to keep little Abram here because we only have a female of the ponies at the other places. So, all right, we'll get there. We'll get there. All right, wonderful. Good, good, good. And then we'll collect up all of those things in a minute. Uh, I can't feed this little guy because I'm out of apples. What are some things on the daily quest I could finish? Sell five granola bars. So let's see if I have five granola bars to sell. I may. I just may because I have a lot of granola bars. Uh, yeah, I have plenty of granola bars. So we'll go ahead and sell five granola bars. And let's see if we can upgrade. So there's that. Got ourselves some Christmas lights. Let's go ahead and do the, the trivia challenge early in because you can actually get some of these special items from this. Science quiz. Oh, the leopard. Uh, that's the coat pattern on horses. Yes. All right. And then the, the champagne gene is the dominant allele that gives horses rare coat colors. <gasps> We're getting things! Yes! Oh my gosh, this one has um, diamonds. What is the first location players can run in a steeplechase in Mexico? That is actually, or in a steeplechase, it's Mexico. Yes! We got diamonds and we got flags from that. Go trivia challenge, go! So where are we now? Now we just need to get one more of the little balloons and we need to get a few more of the Christmas lights. And then we will be able to upgrade to level four. So that'll be really useful actually. Um, let's go ahead and let's see if I already have, do I have enough of the flags? I think I have enough of the flags already. And I think if you have enough of the flags, then you can't get extra flags from harvesting things. I've noticed that doesn't really happen. So let's go ahead and actually go on a steeplechase race and that'll actually help with the daily quiz. So 1,200 coins in a steeplechase race. So I'm going to show off our beautiful Starburn. We're doing things a little bit differently today from our normal little rush of breeding, but you can see where I've been racing Starburn like nonstop. So we're gonna go ahead, take Starburn on a long steeplechase race, try to get up at least 1,200 coins from the race. And then you can see my diamond level horse in action because she's kind of amazing. And we'll just go as far as we can. Um, I'm okay with buying the last balloon for 20 diamonds if we need to. I want that hat though. Oh my gosh, I need to save up diamonds so that we can get that hat. I really, really, really want it. It's like a cabbage hat. That's what I'm going to call it. It's green flowers, but I imagine it's like a lettuce or a cabbage hat. F perfect for the UK. I kind of want to stick it on my female horse or even both of my, my uh, horses. I want two of them. And I'm going to stick them on my shires. And my shires at the UK ranch get to wear them all of the time because it's perfect for them. It's perfect because it looks just like the lettuce that I pluck fresh from the fields. So, oh, that would be so fun. Oh, no. Sorry, I'm talking and racing at the same time. So I'm not as smooth at this as I normally am. Usually, I just kind of go into a bit of a trance when I go racing and kind of watch uh, Sims Let's Plays <laughs> and just go into a trance. But I'm so excited. We're going to be able to upgrade. Oh, my gosh. And I want to see what that final upgrade is for the treehouse. So that'll be what we'll work on next time. I'll go on lots and lots of steeplechase races, try to earn up all of the special items to finish the treehouse upgrade, and hopefully we can finish it this week. And actually, I think it's not quite next week. Maybe it's next week, but very soon the next constellation horse is going to be available. So we need to be ready for that too. All right, go, 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 go. We've got this. We're going to do this. Come on, Starburn. All right, we have enough coins, so we should be able to finish that part of it at least. And we're just gonna race her to the very end because we almost never do steeplechase races together. But also the further you go, the more of the wonderful um, little, little Christmas tree lights, like the lights to light up the tree house you can get. And if you go far enough, then you actually get the balloons. And I don't want to go that far today. Whoops, well, that bumping into that's going to help with that. But I do want to go far enough that we can get as many of the Christmas tree lights as possible. Because that'll help us to upgrade. And there's sapphires waiting for us to upgrade. This must be such an interesting world where your pockets are like half full of coins and half full of diamonds and then half full of gemstones that you pay people in. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, keep going, Starburn. All right, and that'll be enough. I think four will be enough of the Christmas tree lights to wrap up what we're going after. So wonderful. That should finish up the daily quest too. 
Good, good, good. That is done. I'm not quite in the lead this month uh, or this week, I should say, but we might get in the lead. So, oh, wow, we finished that up. See, and even though it said Brazil, it worked for going to the Japanese steeplechase. All right, so that's done and that's done. And now where are we at on this? <gasps> We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to upgrade again. I'm so excited. Okay, you guys ready? Dun, dun, dun. We have now upgraded and hopefully gotten a new item. Okay, let's do this. <gasps> There it is, we've upgraded yet again. So let's see what our treehouse market has now. Now it has poinsettias for sale for 20 diamonds. So it looks like it'll go coin, coin, diamond, diamond, probably diamond in exchange for gemstone, I would imagine. Too bad it won't be money in exchange for gemstone. That would be too cool. And then it'll change every 24 hours, it looks like. So every 24 hours when you buy something or every 24 hours when you upgrade, I'm not sure. And then what do we need for the final upgrade? quite a few things but not as many as I was worried we would potentially need so I should be able to get all of those Christmas tree lights and flags and the balloons through the races over the next couple days and then I'll be able to share that with you guys which will be really exciting so let's go ahead and try breeding for our Virgo and our Virgo 2 and we'll even try to make a little bit of room over here if I've got the space do, 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 to send over the Phrygian female or the Phrygian female and the pony male to the UK ranch up here where we'll be able to yay and are we gonna get any flags Fooey, no flags from these harvests but that's okay I do want to plant some more watermelon because my horses have been really requesting watermelon lately. Oh, and I've been upgrading these because my horses have been requesting so much watermelon. So we're going to do some of this and then some of these. There we go. And then Kareen is over here. I don't know how Kareen got here, but I accidentally brought Kareen here. And so here she stays. We're trying to raise Lewis here in exchange for diamonds. Um, so he's almost up to level 10. And then let me go ahead and we want to actually transfer over... We want to transfer over the little guy. Yeah, he's going to come over here. And then we'll raise him up into a level 5 horse and be able to breed him. And we need to clear out this horse right here so that we've got room for the female pony to come over. And then we can breed for Virgo year 1s up there as well. So we'll have two spots where we can breed for them. And we have nine days left. So yeah, it'll be a little bit over a week uh, before we will be moving into the next constellation horse. And I'm so glad we managed to snag this constellation horse too. All right, there's that. Oh, Fooey, these guys are still working. Okay, let's see. I'm going to try to clear up so that we can just go ahead and have this little one born so we can try breeding for the Virgo two year two. I've been trying trying to do it a little bit off camera um, and I just haven't had any luck yet. So are you guys almost done? A whole hour left. I don't have that kind of time, you silly nillies. All right, storage space is now jam packed too, fooey. Uh, let's see, have I finished feeding you? All right, Oscar. Oscar, you're so close to level 10. You need to be able to go out for diamonds. And then Sheriff wants some grapes over here. So we'll feed him some grapes. And then we'll go ahead and we will rush the birth of the new horse. And we can probably go ahead and sell this Virgo right over here. Morua. Yeah, we'll go ahead and sell Morua for 35 diamonds because we don't need uh, him. He can go find a wonderful new home. It's always hard to do that. But then we can turn around and rush his brother being born. Raise his brother up really quickly. And that now leaves his parents being able to have another shot at trying to breed for the Virgo 2 year 2. Virgo tier 2 year 2. What a mouthful that is. All right. Then we'll come over here and then harvest some green feeds. I might be able to do that later today. So how many green feeds does it want me to harvest again? Let me check. Uh, let's see. It wants me to harvest eight green feeds. So that's going to be like three, six, there we go, nine. And then we'll get some more blue feed started because why not? It's always good just if you have a moment to like mix up some of the higher level feeds to go ahead and do that. All right. Are we going to get any flags? Any flags? <gasps> we got three flags. Yes. We're getting much closer that way. That makes me very happy. So I'll plant some more wheat because I have a feeling we're going to need a lot more wheat for all of the different cooking and mixings of things we need to do. And then we'll go ahead and try breeding up for the Virgo Tier 2 Year 2. And, all right, you, my little one, can go ahead and go out to the paddock because you'll level up very quickly that way. And we'll breed up for the Virgo Tier 2 Year 2 with Jupiter and Amethyst, pure breeding reports. And we're going for the pink. So, 
crossing our hooves for the pink. Thankfully, now that we have... Oh, man. <laughs> it cheesed us for just half a second there with it. And now we have little Jill being born. All right. So there's that. We'll pop over to the French ranch. And we will wrap up by breeding the very last of the combinations for the Virgo. So, all right, got to clean this up really quickly. There we go. And I love the little rose trellis that we got from the tree house. That makes me so happy. All right, there's that. There's that. And we'll go ahead, go down the list. Okay, got all my apples to harvest. And then I also probably should be... Oh my gosh, no, cancel. I was like, what's happening? Why is there a building on top of a building? Should probably get some carrot pie up and going and some honey crunchy. And then we'll go down here. There we go. And then this is another pony. This would be a little boy. And we already have a little boy. So I'm going to go ahead and sell a little eco there. Because we just run out of space. And that's just the way it works. It's always so hard. And I do always get the stray comment. Especially from like a, an 8 year old viewer. Who's like why did you sell that horse? And it's because there's not enough room you guys. So I just have to imagine that they went off to a wonderful home. That potentially has you there. So maybe you're their new owner. Alright so we're breeding Ace and Zoe. And we're hoping for the Virgo year one again. Are we going to have any luck with it? The answer is no. But we do have another Frisian on the way. This time a, a little boy. So that's really good because we have wings right here. So now we will actually have a set so we can breed for the Virgo here in France. We can breed for the Virgo over in the UK. We can breed for the Virgo over in Germany. And we'll be able to breed for the Virgo over at the main USA ranch. So we might switch things up a little bit. And since we already have the Virgo 2, go ahead and try to breed for the Virgo 1 because we didn't get it last last year either. So we'll see if we have any better luck this year. I'm going to take care of all of these little ones and plant some of our flowers like we like to do every time. What's at the carousel? Just to check. I'm okay. And then I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.